Hello everyone, today is going to be a little bit of a different video. I decided to make this video because I posted an Instagram reel a couple of weeks ago and I showed one of the things that I have in my studio that is not really sexy, you wouldn't call it sexy, it's not an exciting thing, it's not an analog piece of gear, it's not a synth or something like this, but it has changed my life in the studio. And what I realized is that after I posted this reel, many of you were actually extremely excited about this. So I decided to make a dedicated video here on YouTube so I can show you what this is all about, how it works and how I use it. And if you're a music producer that uses tons of samples or a film composer that uses tons of sample libraries, then you want to keep watching. Before I talk about what this item actually is, I want to talk about the problem that I was trying to solve. So as I've said in many of my videos, I am working on multiple systems. I have Macs, I have PCs, I have laptops, and this is because I'm doing many different things. I do mixing, I do film composing, I write music for media, I also do video editing, and depending on the task at hand, I might be using a different computer. Now, the problems that I've always had that when I wanted to use my sample libraries, my samples, my project files, any assets, I would have to have multiple hard drives containing the exact same material. Also, when you're working on a laptop, the connectivity is really limited. So if I wanted to have two, three, four SSDs on a laptop, that was a big problem because there's not so much that you can do. And it's not a wise thing to occupy all your USB slots on a laptop with SSDs. They're not going to perform so well most of the time. So about a year ago, a good friend of mine, happy if you're watching this, thank you so much for your recommendation, suggested that I try an SSD dock by Blackmagic. And that's what I did and that's what I'm about to show you here today. Now, I want to get this out of the way. This video is not sponsored by Blackmagic. I have no affiliation with them. I don't know them. I just think this is a great thing to have in a studio if you have multiple SSDs and you want to use them also with multiple computers. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Okay, let's go down here to my rack and this is the actual device I'm talking about. This is the Blackmagic Multidock 10G. So as you can see, this lives right here in my rack. Really convenient. And what you can do with this device is you can add up to four SSD in all these slots. These are hot swappable, so I can remove an SSD like this. And as you can see, it's nothing special, just a normal SSD drive, and I can slot it back in. So in my case, I have four SSDs of four terabytes each. So right here, I have 16 terabytes of storage. And here's the best thing, you can connect this into any computer, Mac or PC, using a USB cable, a USB free cable. So this has 10 gigabits of uh, data transfer, if I'm not mistaken, and using one single cable, your computer will see all of these four SSDs which is amazing. Now what I have here is I have all my orchestral sample libraries, I have my strings libraries, I have my brass libraries, my drums libraries, my percussion libraries, and so on and so forth, spread across all these four SSDs. Now, if you feel you need to spread the load amongst the SSDs, Blackmagic have done something really clever because in the back, you can switch between one bus communication with one USB cable, or you can split the hard drives between two USB buses. So you can have two USB cables for the first pair and the second pair, which is really brilliant, even though I don't really use it, but this could potentially work great if you're using two SSDs on one computer and the two other SSDs on another computer. I haven't tried it, but I'm pretty sure that this would work. Now, let me dim the light a little bit and let me show you how it looks like when you start using the SSDs. So if an SSD is being used, you will see that it will light up. So you get this nice red LED light, then you know which SSD is being utilized, which is great. The data transfers are great. I never had any problems running really intensive sample libraries, and this has made a really big difference in my workflow. Like I said this works great on both Mac and PC and this was very important for me because I work on both platforms and this is what's happening when you connect it to your Mac or PC. You will see all the SSDs. So as you can see here, I have libraries A, B, C, and D, and all the SSDs will appear as a separate drive in your system. And for me, this has been a game changer because up to this point, I was looking for 
Thunderbolt, NVMe uh, enclosures, and these tend to be really pricey, so you might need to spend around 100 bucks for one of these enclosures without the NVMe drive included, of course. And the problem still remains, you need one dedicated Thunderbolt port for these enclosures. And for me, this didn't make a lot of sense because most of these SSDs, they don't take advantage of the full bandwidth of Thunderbolt that you can find on, you know, modern Macs, Thunderbolt 4, you can have like, I think 40 gigs of uh, data transfers and these do 560 megs. So it's just an overkill to sacrifice a Thunderbolt port for this kind of data transfer. But what I would really like to see from Blackmagic or any other manufacturer for that matter is maybe a new version that's Thunderbolt. So maybe Thunderbolt 4, I would really like to see something with Thunderbolt 4. It would actually take advantage of this amazing protocol. And what I would like to see would be instead of having SSD slots only, maybe we could also have NVMe slots and uh, this would mean that uh, for NVMe drives, you are looking for really, really fast transfers, really fast speeds, and that would change everything again. I think that's what I would like to see because then that would mean that we could have like multiple NVMe drives with these super fast speeds and using one single Thunderbolt port, you'd be able to run all of them at their maximum speed, which would be incredible. Right now, I honestly don't feel that I need something like this, but I'm pretty sure that Blackmagic or somebody else is already working on it. I'm already checking a SanDisk device that uh, might be doing this. I'm just looking at my screen now because I was doing some research, but if you know, any device that does what I just described with NVMe drives using one Thunderbolt port, I uh, would be really interesting to know. So let me know in the comments down below. Now this device is definitely not cheap. I wouldn't call it cheap and it's definitely not for everyone. So if you're using like a bunch of samples and you can live with your internal SSD or with one external SSD you're covered, then of course you don't need to invest in something like this. But if you're a film composer, I would guess you probably need something like this from the very beginning when you start building a system, unless you're using a PC, which I do, but I've already exhausted all my SATA ports on my PC and I still need more. So I just plugged this one in and I was happy. And I think this is relevant for both Mac and PC users, definitely relevant for Mac users that are using a MacBook Pro or a Mac Studio. And this device gives you a lot of possibilities when you work with a system like that. But even on PC, I find this way more elegant than using SATA and just opening the case every single time, trying to figure out which SSD is which and replacing them, upgrading them, all these things. Hello. I'm in the dark side, configuring PC SSDs. With this one, the great thing is that you might be working on a set of four SSDs and then you might think, oh, actually now I want to work on a video project and I have an SSD for my videos. You swap the SSD with the libraries that you're not using at this stage. You swap in the SSD with your videos or anything else that you do and you're good to go. You don't have to open a case or, you know, just go into a cable mess and do all these things. So there you go, my friends. This was a short video, but I hope that some of you might find it useful like I did when my friend told me about this about a year ago. And honestly, it's been so convenient and so powerful that I wanted to spread the word and I wanted to let you know about this. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. Is this something that you would add to your studio setup? And if you found it useful, don't forget to like, subscribe, if you really want to support the channel, use the super thanks button or check out my instruments, my modern 80s drum kit and the Apollo expansion for Patch Shop. I'll see you on the next one, my friends. Take care of yourselves. 